And now at 5.30, today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, an annual day to honor the six million Jewish victims of the Holocaust and other victims of the Nazi regime. Pope Francis called on the world to make sure that the horrors of the Holocaust do not happen again. CBS4's Danya Bakis shows us how the only survivor-founded Holocaust museum in the nation is trying to educate and inspire. Inside the Holocaust Museum in Los Angeles are reminders of a dark time in history. A history CEO, Beth Keen, says provides lessons that can be applied today. We know what can happen when hatred and bigotry go unchecked. Anti-Semitic symbols were recently seen during the attack on the nation's capital, like this Camp Auschwitz hoodie, referring to the concentration camp where more than a million people died during the Holocaust. How do you educate people about that and the, the pain and the hurt that comes with seeing those images? We curated a special exhibit called Symbols of Hate. We show people what these, the origination of these Nazi symbols and what the meaning was behind it. Education is a big part of the museum's mission, and because of the pandemic, its tours, exhibits, and programs are now virtual. But perhaps the greatest impact, hearing directly from survivors. And we got lots of beating. Like 88-year-old Edith Frankie, who now, along with other survivors... Thank in you all. For, uh, for coming and listening to my story. Uses Zoom to share their experiences with students across the country. Why do you feel it is so important to continue to share your story? I like to share my story that things like that should never ever happen again. The museum isn't allowing the pandemic to slow its purpose. We cannot be discouraged uh, because our work is so important. Beth says now more than ever is the time to inspire people to stand up against hatred so one of the darkest parts of history will not be repeated. Danya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. According to the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. hit a four-decade high in 2019. Only 16 states require Holocaust education in school.